Please watch the Logan Paul videos at Mirror. Whenever YouTubers make a big deal out of scandals they're in, it only draws more attention to it and makes it worse. Yeah, that's why I said Stan's had the best take. If Logan Paul just said nothing about it, he'd be in a much better situation. 100%. Thanks, Resub Jake. And the Resub Luna. If he just never mentioned it, he'd be in a much better spot. You think Logan has a shot due to the single versus dual party consent laws? That's not even what he's going for. He's going for defamation, of which he has no shot. Thanks, Resub Dopey. I think ask any lawyer worth his salt. They will tell you the same thing. This defamation case is such a fucking dead end. It's very clearly just to try and bully CoffeeZilla and make them lose money. In, like, legal fees and shit. Have you seen DJ Khaled crashing his golf cart? Yeah, of course. I already had that pulled up. I love DJ Khaled stuff, man. I see it all. Make a GoFundMe for CoffeeZilla? No, like I said, man, if he actually does need, like, a legal team to represent him at Mana, we have a full legal team, and they're very, they're a very strong force. So if he needs it, we are here. I offered it to him. Should Logan Paul actually go through with this brain-dead idea? Wouldn't Logan need to reimburse the fees if he loses? I don't know if that's standard procedure, but you can always, like, counter with that. What could Logan possibly have to gain from trying to embarrass him? Absolutely nothing. He's too stupid to process that by suing CoffeeZilla, he's only ruining his image further in the eyes of legitimately everybody, even his own fans. His idea, his thought process is so short-sighted, it's sickening. He believes like, no, I'm so innocent, this isn't a scam, and it's offended me so much, I'm going to sue him for being so wrong. But he can't process that by doing so, he is furthering shitify his name. It's it's baffling. It is it is baffling. He has no one around him giving him good advice. It's, it is fucking crazy. Let's give some squid. Wouldn't Discovery fuck Logan as well? You would think so. I don't even think he's processed that as a possibility. But yeah, I, I think that would probably sink him immediately. Is he one chunky? Is he skipping the Pine Lee video? No, what? I was just talking about this for like the last fucking 20 minutes. I've already watched it, which is why I was talking about it. You running some AMOC tonight? Yeah. I can feel a little poop cooking up, so after I poop, I'm gonna come back and we're gonna run some AMOC. It's just not ready yet. Do you flush your toilet paper? What the fuck? Yeah, of course. What? Is there really a community of people that throw it away as opposed to flush it? Yeah, there is. Holy shit, that's crazy. I actually can't imagine. Pipes can't handle it? No, pipes can't handle things that are thicker, like paper towel. Shit like that. Toilet paper is designed to be flushable. That's why it's toilet tissue. Is it tier one? Gin? The resub epic. <clears throat> Oh, you're talking about the oh 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 you're you're talking about pipes in other places. Gotcha. Sorry. When when I'm hearing this question, I'm thinking, since you are asking me, you are talking from the perspective of a, a fellow American. I I'm sure there are probably places where they do throw it away because I imagine in some places it probably isn't great to just flush it, or whatever. I'm just talking about like, in 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 this neck of the woods, it is designed to be flushed. <laughs> they don't make pipes like we do. Yeah, we got the best pipes. Thanks to be some trash and thick. I was actually talking to Muda about that plot. I haven't watched the video on it yet, but I'm excited to. Apparently, the uh, criminal that um, Logan Paul hired, Z, 
had his entire record expunged, which probably explains why CoffeeZilla didn't know that. So Logan fucking doxed him. <laughs> Logan fucking doxed the guy and made himself look even worse by doing so. Yeah, he got his whole record expunged. You can't find it when you look for it. Which would explain why Coffee probably didn't even know that he was a convicted felon. And Logan doxed him. Meaning they must have known that he was a fucking felon and still hired him. That's the only way. Isn't that crazy? So he comes out looking even stupider. Some felons deserve jobs though. Well, that's not the, that's not the point I or anyone's making. The guy is not only a convicted criminal, but he was a convicted criminal that also stole from Logan and held ransom for a million dollars. So he was a repeat offender who probably shouldn't have been in the position to lead that whole fucking team for development. And so it's still terrible hiring. So you don't hire a scammer to lead your entire fucking development team and then get shocked when he scams you. I'm pretty sure there were three scammers hired. Yeah, there was. We're just talking about the one whose criminal record was completely expunged and Logan Paul brought it into the public eye. I just love that though. Like that's some shit out of Death Note if it was like too dumb. Well, not too dumb people. Like it's like Death Note, but if Light Yagami was super fucking dumb. So he's like, Logan's overthinking things. He's like, okay, you interviewed Z, the guy who stole my code and held it for ransom. You must have also known that he was a criminal, that has a criminal past, and it is an untrustworthy person to be leading this development team. But you didn't say that. But you must have known that he was a criminal. So in fact, I'm going to get five steps ahead of you. I am going to dox him and reveal to the whole world that Z, the guy you interviewed, and the guy that I hired, is actually a convict and a repeat offender. I'll let everyone know he was a criminal, so that way I have a leg up on you. It's like the worst plan ever. Criminal doesn't mean untrustworthy. Bro, he was a, uh, what, four-time repeat offender? That is not someone that should be leading your entire development team. Hoping for Logan? I don't think they are. I think it's just like this, like, arguing for the sake of arguing. Because that's what people are so used to now, that you have to be, like, you, it's not cool to have, like, the, ta the most common take. In order to feel special, you have to have, like, a controversial take and fight for it. But not for any reason other than to just fight. Like, I don't even think it's coping and I don't even think it's Logan fans. It's just people that are so used to being combative that they have to keep that going.